Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, my name is Amanda, and here on this channel we share everything that falls into that homemaking category, so everything like cleaning, decluttering, organizing, recipes, decorating, home makeovers, all of those kind of things, so if that is something that you're interested in and you are not currently subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button, it is absolutely free, but that way you will not miss out on any of the future videos, and you can also catch up on some of the previous videos that we've shared on the channel. But today, we are actually going to be focusing on decluttering and organizing I have felt so incredibly overwhelmed in life lately like especially the past few months and I just really need to get control of that I'm sure a lot of you guys are in the same boat so we are going to be focusing on some of the areas that are kind of tucked behind closed doors I have a lot of different areas around the house that I want to tackle today and I figured I would go ahead and bring you guys along with me we have a lot to get done things might look nice on the outside but once you start opening those doors, it's a different world in there. So we're gonna get rid of things and only keep the things that we actually need or actually use and go ahead and give the rest a new life somewhere else. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. So as I mentioned, we are going to be tackling the areas behind closed doors, which I feel like a lot of times get overlooked. I feel like a lot of time we're looking at areas that people often see right when they come into our house, or we're looking at like those more common areas like your kitchen cabinets, just things like that. So we have actually lived in this house over a year now. and. I think I had these crazy expectations whenever we moved in. We had a lot of projects we wanted to get done, and I would say we're probably not even through half of them, although we have done a ton of things in the house. I do have a house projects playlist as well as a room makeover playlist that will show all the things that we've done in our house so far since moving in. So if you're not all caught up on those videos, you can go ahead and check those out in the description box below. But we still have so much work to be done, and especially the areas like we're working on today, those ones definitely get overlooked so I'm super excited to tackle these spaces because even though you don't see them every single day they still will add so much peace and function into your home when you finally get around to decluttering and organizing them. And what a surprise, my sister is actually going to be helping me out in this video. As you guys know, if you saw last week's video, my mom came down to stay with me for about two weeks and my sister and her little daughter decided to make a last minute trip to see us while my mom was here. It was so nice to just spend that time together. And it's really neat because I have four sisters and also an older brother. And basically all of my sisters really inspire me with a more minimal approach to their homes. I talked about this in last week's video, but I feel like I used to be a little bit more minimal and over the last few years, things have really gotten away from us. But while my sister was here, I asked if she would go ahead and help me tackle some of these areas and just kind of inspire me as we went along this process and as I work our way back to being a bit more minimal. I feel like this was one of the first times, if not the first time that I've actually had someone come in with me and be a part of the decluttering process with me. And it was super nice because one, it made everything way more enjoyable. And two, it gave me a second set of eyes and a little added logic just to encourage me to do a double take at times. So if you have been struggling with decluttering, I would totally recommend this. Try decluttering with a friend or a family member. It just makes everything way more enjoyable. And it also can kind of encourage you to be a little bit more picky on what you're keeping. 
I just have to show you what my sister's little girl is doing while we're working up here. Is <laughs> Sophie's doing work with you? Yeah, we're getting some work done. <laughs> so cute! Good job! We're <laughs> doing some clicking, some moving. Oh my gosh, so fun. All right, I just had to show you guys that because it was too cute not to, but we're gonna get back to work. Here I'm just reusing some baskets from a different space. I feel like a lot of times we look at these big projects, whether we're decluttering or organizing, and we think, boy, this is gonna cost a lot of money, especially when you're organizing because you wanna go out and get new containers. But a lot of times we have everything we need right in our homes already. So don't feel like these projects have to be very expensive. They can be super, super cheap or even free. And another thing just to keep in mind while you're decluttering, if your home is feeling tight, if your home is feeling too small for you, like you don't have enough storage, decluttering will instantly give you extra square footage and extra room in your home, and it'll give you so much freedom. These are the things that I've been missing when I have been kind of fallen behind on the decluttering process over the last few years. And as I'm giving it more of a focus once again, it's just making me remember that and feeling so excited for what's to come as we go through our entire house the rest of this year and just declutter so many things. Other than the theater room being actually cleaned up right now, it really doesn't feel any different. But the difference is when we walk in this room and we go to access these cabinets, which now we're doing a lot more often, it makes a big difference. I would seriously urge you this week to go through your house, look in your cabinets, look in your drawers, look in your furniture, just wherever, look behind those closed door areas and see where you could change things up, see where things are feeling a bit full or areas that maybe you're not accessing a lot because of the mess and the clutter and go ahead and tackle them. This doesn't have to take a whole long time, but I guarantee it's going to make such a big difference in your daily life. We have one space down, several more to go, but it is really motivating to keep going now that we have like that whole built-ins cabinet space and the theater room kind of organized. So we are going to tackle this area. We are in the works of doing a very budget-friendly, like super low budget makeover in this loft area and basically just like a complete overhaul in here. And so I'm kind of wanting to prepare the room for that because right now we just have too much stuffness. So we're just not going to be working on like, you know, getting rid of the big items, but just like all the little knickknacks and books and all that stuff. We're also going to be going through all of these because these are just like full of random stuff. 
stuff. That one's actually not even too bad, but I literally don't know what those things are. And then we're also going to be tackling this space, which I don't know. I've been torn on this because we just took the same things that we had in our hall closet in our Utah home and put it in here. And like, it's really hard to like get stuff out just because of the doorway space. So I'm gonna kind of figure out how exactly we can make this work. Hopefully we're using the same bins or using some of them, I'm not sure. But anyway, first we're gonna start out in the loft area. Here, my sister and I are just starting to go through the books. Now, my kids love books. We have been collecting them ever since we became parents, whether we got them from a yard sale or Goodwill, or sometimes we might get them new from the store, but they're just something that's very simple and easy to collect. But this time it was really nice having my sister right here with me because she was just able to kind of help me be a little bit pickier on what I'm keeping. And on top of the books that we're keeping out here, the boys do still have books in their own bedrooms that they read all the time, like their chapter books and things like that. So we definitely are keeping enough books, but the ones that we aren't reading often are going to be so great to be able to go to a different home and get lots of new use from a new family. And now we're actually not having to store those books in our home and just take up more space. Not only the physical space that they're taking up, but also that visual clutter that they were giving us. Um, can you tell that it's been a while since I have dusted these shelves? This is a great example of how visual clutter and all of the physical clutter of everything can really deter you from using the spaces that you have in your home. I feel like this area has been very cluttered and it's definitely been underused in our home. We are planning still to completely transform the space. It's no longer going to be a game area, but we're actually going to turn it into like a lounge loft area. And I can't wait to share that with you guys. That makeover is going to be extremely budget friendly because everything we're finding for it is thrifted or found on Facebook Marketplace. Almost nothing is going to be new, but we are going to completely transform the space into a space that is just super super functional and useful for our family before we do that we are going to be tackling the boys bedrooms i think we're going to be filming that in two weeks so keep your eyes out for those videos but i just cannot wait to see how that area is going to turn out I know I just said we have not really been utilizing this area, but ever since decluttering, we have gone up and had a few family game nights and it's been so much fun. It's just amazing what happens when you get rid of things. I feel like you end up using what you have so much more often. So this is some footage I wanted to share with you guys of a game we were playing. It's called Throw Throw Burrito. If you don't have it, check it out. It is such a fun game for any age. Two, three, burrito! burrito! Keep 
confused. Cabinets are another one that was just totally filled up with things that I honestly can't even tell you what was in there, but they were just shoved into a cabinet and forgotten. And now we're going to kind of transform these cabinets into like my craft area. want to do like all these crafts and I feel like lately I have not had a chance to do them but I have like all these things would you declutter them because I haven't used them in so long or would you just keep them and try to do more crafts I don't know because I don't want to just declutter them because I already spent money on them but All right, I am kind of starting to lose a little bit of steam, but I just have to remember like the rooms that we've done are looking so good. Like, the theater room, game room, loft area is actually looking so much better. We decluttered a ton of books. All of this is everything that we are getting rid of. And then these are actually just some totes that are going to be stored in the garage. And this piece is gonna go in this little cove eventually once we get that hooked up. So anyway, that's kind of what that all stuff is. This needs to go out to the garage. And then these are just like the random baskets that I have in this hall closet, but it looks not too bad. I mean, it, it doesn't look great, but it is just so difficult to like get things in and out of here because of the doorway. So now we're gonna tackle this space and we'll kind of see where we're at. I think I'm actually going to maybe run to the store and see if I can find like some clear organizers. I redid our craft cabinet area downstairs recently in just clear organizers and I loved it. Like that has stayed so nice. I feel like that's going to make this space actually useful. So I don't want to get anything different, but I also feel like we could use these maybe even in mine and Kyle's closet, maybe in the boys closet where we don't like need to be seeing and everything. But for this space, I feel like if I don't get something more useful, it's just going to be a lot of the same because a lot of these things like I would use. Recently, I just bought two more of these Bon Annie cleaners because I thought I didn't have any more. I bought more dish soap because I didn't think I had any more. And it's like, I just forget to look in here because whenever you open this up you always forget that it's there so i'm gonna go ahead run to the store probably just walmart and seeing if i can get like some home edit bins because i saw they had like a good deal going on recently and hopefully that's still going on but i'm gonna go get those and see if i can just make this way more functional and then i'll declutter like along the way
guys i am back and i got the things that i need i don't think i'm gonna need anything else but i'll actually set you guys down for a second and show you what i picked up because i'm trying to do this one hand and it is not working let me see so i used the home edit bins from walmart before like i said down in our craft cabinet area and i was going to use the same but i really just was going to get the large bins and this is the pantry set and it comes with two of the large bins also a riser and two of these large insert bins which you could use on their own which is my plan so this was like five dollars more it's not a better deal if you're not going to use the other items but the other items saved me from having to purchase extra large bins and so it ended up saving us some money and it, I think is going to work out even better but before we do any of that I just want to open up one and make sure that it's going to fit how I'm hoping it will. These are all things that need to like go downstairs to the laundry room, so I'm gonna bring them down there. I used to opt for wicker bins that didn't show the items inside just because I felt like it gave less visual clutter. But now I have completely swapped over to Team Clear Organizers as long as they are behind a closed door. Like I obviously don't want clear organizers in the middle of our living room or something, but as long as they're behind a door or a cabinet, it's super nice to be able to go in and you can see exactly what you have. It also encourages decluttering because everything can look a little bit more messy if it's not minimal or if it's not organized very well but I just really like the function of the clear organizers and also no matter how you're organizing whether you're using wicker bins or clear organizers don't overlook adding in smaller organizers inside of larger ones to keep things easier to find and also easier to maintain. Here I'm just using my little label maker to make some super quick labels. Now you guys may have seen me use my Cricut for a ton of labels before and I love doing that. But for areas like this where I don't access all the time, I love just using this quick and simple label maker. And then for areas that I do access all the time, like my pantry, I will make the pretty labels.
I'm just reusing the labels that our old containers used to have on them because they look great, they're a great shape, and I knew they'd fit perfectly on the new clear containers. But if you wanna see how I made these labels or how I even organized and decluttered our previous home's hall closet, I will go ahead and link that video down below. That one was done so differently than this one, so they're two totally different styles, but they both definitely have their own benefit. So like I said, I will have that video linked down below in case if you wanna watch that one. The last thing that I want to do in here is actually make a wrapping paper station. This is something that I started doing years and years and years ago and I've always wanted to do it in this house and we just haven't gotten around to it. So today, now that I have this all organized, we're going to go ahead and get this all situated. So you're going to start by cutting the bottom of the shoe organizer. So one thing that I wanted to mention is to not cut all of the bottoms on the little over the door organizer. You only want to cut what you're going to need to hold your wrapping paper. And then you're going to be able to slide your gift wrap all the way through into the bottom pocket. And then you're able to use the remaining pockets for other things like scissors, tapes, ribbon, gift tags, things like that. But this just makes everything really easily accessible. You can see everything you have, everything is very compact. And my favorite thing about this hack is that you are able to utilize a space that you were not using previously. Wasn't looking when you walked in. Wasn't ready for the real thing quite yet. You're getting over something toxic. But your voice feels better than the quiet. Can I take you to a movie? Just walk down Broadway. I think I wanna get to know ya. Are you free this Friday? Cause the city lights shine every night I spend with you. I felt so great, now the sky looks extra blue. And we close your eyes tonight, I hope you see it too. I was afraid of something new. Till I found you. One of the final things that I wanted to do before wrapping these projects up was to clean our mirror. We're actually planning to get rid of this mirror and add a wooden world map in, just like the one that we had in our previous home in Utah in our basement. We loved that and we cannot wait to have the same thing up here in this house. But until we do that, I'm gonna continue cleaning this mirror because it gets so dirty all the time. And then once I got that done, Kyle and I just started taking everything down to the car to get it outside out of the house. And that way it was just ready to be donated. And we also brought all the extra bins and containers into the garage to store for a later time. I love how everything turned out today. It's amazing what a difference it's made in our home. It's felt like we can breathe a little bit more, which might sound like a little bit of an intense statement for the situation, but I really feel like it's given our home so much more function and it's been snowballing our motivation into getting the rest of our home feeling the same way as these areas do now. So I hope that this video will give you that same kind of motivation that we are feeling. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. And if you are in need of more decluttering motivation, I'm going to link my decluttering playlist right here on this end screen. And inside that playlist, you're going to find videos that have kitchen decluttering, closets, furniture, bedroom decluttering. Honestly, I've decluttered our whole house in these videos, so I'm sure this will give you all the motivation you're needing. Definitely check it out below, and I will see you guys right back here very soon for a new video. Bye!